transition tunnels. We drove down and this is now the central tunnel number five. And this is the final disposal tunnel number one. And we are just before this block area. Während die drei Gemeindepräsidenten in rund 400 Metern Tiefe die zukünftige Lagerstätte des radioaktiven Abfalls Finnlands begutachten, erkunden wir die benachbarte Stadt Rauma. Ein Touristenmagnet mit idyllischer Altstadt, kaum 20 Kilometer entfernt vom finnischen Tiefenlager. You are in the, in the old town of Rauma, the city of Rauma, in, in the western coast of Finland. You are here in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Nuclear power plants and the depository, they are situated about 20 kilometers from here. The impact of the nuclear industry has been enormous in Rauma. And since we have more than 40 years, maybe 45 years of production here, Uh, people know us, they know our safety culture. We've always been open and transparent with everything. So there's a huge trust. The openness of the information we are getting from the, from the nuclear power plant, I think it's um, exceptional. If there's something wrong, you get to know it right away. They tell it in public, they, they tell that we have this and this problem at the moment. They even tell us the, the name of the, the part of the machinery and who made that part of machinery and what's the problem. They present the pictures that this is wrong and we are fixing this. It's really open all the time. And people know that when you are open, you are giving them all the information there is to be given. It creates kind of a sense of uh, reliability. In a laboratory, everything is easy. It's clean, you have light, you have all the possible rooms and all that stuff. But when you come downstairs, then you notice that, okay, ah, there is not a space. Hmm. You can't see something and you can't hear or you have to have wires. We have nuclear waste all around the world, enormous amounts of it. Why aren't people afraid and uh, worried about nuclear waste right now? We have had it for decades. But now we are going to bury it under the bedrock 500 meters underground. So I really can't see how that could be more frightening than what is now.